There is probably one conspiracy theory out of hundreds, thousands, you may have never heard of. I was involved in a plot to commit murder, uh, to assassinate John F. Kennedy uh, in the early 60s between the Bay of Pigs invasion and the Kennedy assassination itself. That was Kerry Thornley, T-H-O-R-N-L-E-Y, in an interview he did in the 1990s. Yeah, I was in the Marines with Lee Harvey Oswald. Uh, all my life I've been fighting this this tendency to be typecast as Oswald's Marine Corps buddy because I always, I, I feel like I'm not <clears throat> becoming known in my own right when I become known as simply as somebody who knew Oswald. Kerry was more than just Oswald's buddy. They were friends. They beat the boredom of peacetime soldiers' life by reading and sparring over ideas. The other Marines found Booz a better boredom killer, and teasing the two odd birds was good sport, but not without consequence. Oswald often hit back hard enough to be punished and sent to the brig. Kerry watched and made notes to use later in a novel he planned to write about his fellow soldiers, with Lee Harvey Oswald as the hero. After leaving service, Kerry Thornley did write his novel two years before Oswald took a high-powered rifle and shot the President of the United States in Dallas. November 22nd, President John Fitzgerald Kennedy was shot to death in full view of hundreds of spectators watching him in a Dallas, Texas motorcade. Here comes Oswald down the hall again. Did you buy that rifle? The you people have been given, but I emphatically deny these charges. I'm just a patsy. Forty-eight hours later, the man Dallas police said shot the president, Lee Harvey Oswald, was himself killed by Jack Ruby in full view of millions of Americans watching television. Weird indeed. There is no novel, as far as I know, where a man jumps out of his literary skin and turns the world upside down. Nonetheless, Kerry Thornley, the first writer to portray Lee Harvey Oswald, became himself a prime suspect in the greatest unresolved murder case of the 20th century. I am Andrei Kodrascu, and in this podcast we try to untangle the weird connection between Lee Harvey Oswald and Kerry Wendell Thornley, the second Oswald. <laughs>